Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alex and Akhlabath High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of 8th class maths. We have discussed different different chapters of our 8th class. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter that is direct and inverse proportion. What is this? We have discussed comparing quantities based on proportions. What was that? And in your lower classes you would have learned about ratio and proportion. Okay. What is it? And everything yeah, we are going to learn today. Here direct and inverse proportion. There is a completely a new thing and which is uh, a typical thing to understand. You have to concentrate from the first. Okay. What is this direct proportion? When do we call it as direct proportion? Proportion you always know that it is something kind of a multiplication based on the previous rule. Okay. For example, if I say for 5 rupees I get 1 chocolate, then can you identify how many rupees do I cost for 15 chocolates? Just tell me how many rupees do I need? For 5 rupees I will get 1 chocolate. Then for how many rupees I get 15 chocolates? Tell me that is I have to multiply 15 into 5. Is it clear? Yes or no? If each chocolate costs 5 rupees then for 15 chocolates it costs 15 into 5. Clear? Similarly, for example, uh, let us say for 1 kg uh, of rice it costs 45 rupees. Then how many kgs of rice do I get for 100 rupees? Okay, how do we do? First multiply these both and divide it by 45, 100 by 45. This is simply a kind of cross multiplication x into 45 is equal to 100 into 1, it becomes x is equal to 100 by 45, whatever answer we get. Clear? It is almost all 2 point something. Yes or no? Did you understand? This is how we have to remember a direct proportion. Did you understand? Direct is simple. For this, we get this much of uh, quantity, then for these many rupees, how much the quantity is. Clear? Shall we do few problems? See here. Here he is asking us to fill this table. The number of apples is given and the cost of apples is also given. If you observe for one apple the cost is 8 rupees. Okay. Then for 4 apples it is 4 8s are how much? 32. Is it clear? Then for this for one apple it costs 8 rupees. For 7 apples it costs 7 into 8. How much is it? That is 56 rupees. Similarly, for 1 apple it is 8 rupees, then for 12 apples it is 12 into 8, okay? that is 96 rupees. Clear? And the next for 1 apple it is 8 rupees, for 20 apples it is 20 into 8, that is 160 rupees. Isn't it easy? Yes or no? See here. The next question. For 48 bags of paddy cost 16800, then find the cost of 36 bags of paddy atoms. How do we do? Now, for 48, it is 16800. This is number of bags. This is rupees. Okay. Remember, do not forget. You have to write this. Even if I forget to write, you have to note it down. Then, for 36 bags, what is the cost? Okay. How this into this, this into this, let us say this as x, cross multiply 48 into x is equal to 36 into 16800. Clear? Then x is equal to 36 into 16800 divided by 48. Is it right? Now check how much is it? 60 or else 12 4s are 12 3s are done. Then what about this? Will it go in 4 table? Yes, it will go. 4 1s are 4 4s are 16, 4 2s are 8. Isn't it? Now just multiply 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12. 12,600 rupees. How much is it? For 48 bags, it cost 16,800, 
then for 36 bags it costs 12,600 rupees. Is it clear? Did you understand? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let's do. Look at the next questions here. Here he gave in a ship of length 28 meter. Ship is of length 28 meter. The height of its mast that is nothing but uh, the long stick which you see is 12 meter. He is telling that if the height of a mast is 9 centimeter in a model, right? Uh, before building a big ship, they have to model a small ship. Okay, if that is nine centimeter, then what is the length of the mast? Okay, just we have to kind of ratio. Okay, length of ship, height of mast. Okay, both are in meters. He is telling that for twenty-eight meters. The height of mast is 12 meter. Then the height of mast is 9 centimeter. Then what is this? Okay. Either you have to convert everything into meters or you have to convert everything into centimeters. Let us convert this meter into centimeters. Okay. Double zero centimeter. Clear? Let us say this as x. Okay cross multiply this into this, this into this x into 1 to double 0 centimeter that is equal to 2a double 0 into 9. Let us write normal thing. Then x is equal to 2a double 0 into 9 by 1 to double 0. 0, 0 will get cancelled. Now, here 4 3s are 4 7s are 3 1s are 3 3 are that is 7 into 3. Therefore, x is 21 centimeter okay is it right that is therefore length of model ship is 21 centimeter okay next look at the next question here a loaded truck travels 14 kilometers in 25 minutes if the speed remains same how far can it travel in 5 hours? Tell me, remember here the time is in hours, here the time is in minutes. So, let us convert this hours into minutes. Just write here for this distance, this is time, distance in kilometer, time in minutes. How much distance? For 14 kilometer, it is 25 minutes. Then for how many kilometers it will take 5 hours that is nothing but 5 into 60. How much is it? That is 6 5 is a 300 minutes. Okay. Let us say this as x, this into this, this into this. Okay. That is 14 into 300 is equal to x into 25. Isn't it? Send that x this side, x is equal to 14 into 300 by 25. Okay. Now, tell me 25 4 is 100, 8, 12. Now, 14 into 12. Is it right? Now, just tell me 14 into 1, uh, 14 into 12. Tell 140 plus 28, that is nothing but 160 kilometer okay therefore it travels it travels 160 kilometer in 5 hours is it right did you understand you have to understand the theory and convert it into a proportion clear shall we move to the next problem let's do look at the next question here here he gave a train moves at a constant speed of 75 km per hour. How far will it travel in 20 minutes? Just tell me. It is very clear. Do not get confused. For 1 hour, it is telling 75 km. Okay. Then for 20 minutes, how much time does it take? Right. In order to compare this, we have to write this in terms of minutes. Therefore, 1 hour will become as 60 minutes. 
is it right? Let us say x this into this equal to this into this that is 60 into x is equal to 75 into 20. Therefore, x is equal to 75 into 20 by 60 0 0 cancel 2 1s are 2 3s are 3 1s are 3 25 is are therefore, x is 25 kilometer. Therefore, it covers a distance of therefore, it covers distance of 25 kilometer in 20 minute. Okay. Look at the second question now. Find the time required to cover a distance of 250 kilometers it seems. The same story comes. For 1 hour it takes 75 kilometer. Then for how much time it will cover 250 kilometer. Let us say y. Okay. Just cross multiply y into 75 is equal to 1 into 250 that is nothing but y is equal to 250 by 75. Okay. Both will go in 25 table 25 3 is a 25 10 is a 10 by 3 kilometer is not it sorry 10 by 3 hours. Okay. Y is equal to 10 by 3 hours. Is it clear? Did you understand? If you want, you can convert it into seconds and you can even simplify it. Clear? Did you understand? Shall we move to the next problem? See here. The design of a microchip has a scale of 40 is to 1, which means for 40, I mean, will uh, make a model of 40 centimeters, then in actual size it will be of 1 centimeter. You have to remember this term. This is microchip. Okay. If it is a ship, it will be some kind of 40 to 100, which means we will make a model of 40 and it the actual size will be some 100. Okay. Just have that kind of uh, idea. Since it is microchip, it will be very small, chip, normal chip. But we cannot make that kind of model in a practical base. That is why we will make it as a very big base of 40 centimeters, then we will make it to 1 centimeter. Okay. Right. Now, see here given the design ratio is 40 is to 1 and given length of design is 18 centimeter. Okay. Now, just write for 40 if it is 1 then for 18 how much is it? Okay. This is just a ratio you need not uh, think more that is nothing but if I take x x into 40 is equal to 18 into 1 that is x is equal to 18 by 40. In which table will it go 2 9s are 2 20s are x is equal to 9 by 20 centimeter. Therefore, the actual length of microchip is 9 by 20 centimeter. Is it clear or else you can write it in terms of millimeter or you can divide it. Is it clear? Did you understand? These are all different different problems and basics of our direct proportions. Shall we learn what is an inverse proportion? Let us do. What is this inverse proportion? Till now we have seen that for 1 rupee if 5 chocolates then for 2 rupees it will be 10 chocolates we know that. Then for inverse proportion it will be like uh, it will be completely ulta that is we have to find the inverse thing before we used to multiply these both and these both right yes or no. Now here it reverses that is this will be in proportion and this will be in proportion is it clear yes or no before these both were in proportion right clear now see here if you observe let us fill this table by the end of this table you will have a clarity the price of each book for 40 it is 150 okay 40 150 then let us assume this as x 
then I will show you how to do that. Now see here 40 for 40 it is 50 then for 150 it is x ok. Then simple multiply these both multiply these both is it clear. Now see here 40 into 150 is equal to 50 into x x is equal to 40 into 150 by 50 50 ones are 53 so it is 120 therefore this is 120 is it clear this is a kind of typical thing next let us assume this as y then y then for 120 it is 100 ok just uh, multiply these both 50 into 120 is equal to y into 100 therefore y is equal to 120 into 50 by 100 0 0 5 1s are 5 2 are this is 2 1s are 2 60s are clear this is 60 yes now let us check let us take it as z therefore it is for 60 it is 75 then for 100 it is z just multiply these both 60 into 100 equal to 75 z ok then z is equal to 16 to 100 by 75 25 4s are 25 3s are 3 1s are 3 2s are 4 2s are 120 clear yes or no 4 2s are 80 therefore this will be 8 clear now let us write this for uh, some variable a <coughs> now tell for 75 it is a then for 80 it is 75 then what about these two a into 75 is equal to <coughs> 75 into 80 therefore a is equal to 75 into 80 by 75 these both will get cancel a is 80 therefore the value here it is 80 clear these are all basic problems uh, using inverse proportion clear what did we learn today we started with the direct proportion theory and then we learned about inverse proportion clear fine this is for today let us meet in the next session with the more problems of inverse proportion thank you